everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you around my bedroom this is like part one of my house tour although things might change over the next kind of year or so little bits might be updated this is pretty much it and i am so so happy with this if anyone can hear a chewing noise it's because i've got a little someone in here with me and she's obsessed with like these little chewy things and it makes a lot of noise so um yeah that's fun so before i get started with the actual room tour i thought i'd talk you through the vibe how i got to this kind of look because i did a lot of planning how i wanted everything to look basically i started off on pinterest and i just started pinning things um i'll link my pinterest by the way and i'll show you a little clip of it now but yeah if you want to go and have a look to compare like the color palette and stuff like that then you can go do that i'll also pin everything and where they're from to the pinterest board as well so you can like shop stuff through that but yeah i started just pinning tons and tons of stuff and then when it got to a point where i felt like i pinned a lot of things i went through and just had a look at what the consistent things were so what the colors were that i seemed to really really like and what the type of furniture was that i really really liked by doing that i got a really clear idea of the thing the little themes and the color palette that i really wanted for this room and originally when i started pinning things it was very much like a relaxed kind of california la style vibe lots of like greenery beige tones and initially when we moved in things went very pink and um, i kind of switched the accessories up a bit and in the end the second bedroom slash office slash beauty room ended up being more of a pink vibe so although it initially looked quite pink in here to you guys it's actually not very pink at all that is pretty much one of the only pink things in this room little fact for you there so when we moved in things kind of deviated away from the vibe that i wanted a little bit but it's kind of come back round now there's lots of greenery lots of tan colors and i'm really happy with it the one thing that i would say is that i ended up with a lot more mid-century thanks to home sense than i originally thought that i would have and nothing that we bought for this room was too expensive either um i obviously did a little bit of work with home sense so i did get gifted this and i'll mention all of the home sense items in here i think were part of the work i did with them just a little disclaimer but we bought everything else ourselves and there wasn't anything that we paid like a huge huge amount for but the one thing that we did invest in was our bed and mattress and the bedside tables i would say that in mind i shopped at those places for things that were either white or like an earthy tone kind of thing and the walls were painted white before we moved in and with this room i just want everything to be quite white quite relaxing um the space isn't overly cluttered you'll notice it's quite paired back in comparison to the rest of our house you'll probably have seen it on instagram by the way have you followed my hello october at home instagram because if you love home stuff which i'm guessing is why you're watching this i think you will really like it and you get a peek at the rest of the house that i haven't really shown yet because i wanted it to be a place where i could come and relax and really clear my mind rather than feeling overwhelmed by stuff or like with my office i've made it to my very girly side of my taste so um it definitely like inspires me and inspires my work when i'm in there but when i'm in the bedroom i don't want to feel like inspired i want to feel zen so i really did make a conscious effort not to overload this room with stuff we were going to put like prints up opposite um the bed and things like that and it was just too too much and i just want to weirdly when i'm in bed i just want to look at a white wall opposite me i don't want to see like any stuff so with that in mind this room is definitely more paired back to some people's tastes but with me i'm quite a, like anxious human being i'm easily overwhelmed i just wanted like a really nice zen room and i think that's what we've got so with all of that in mind let's get into the room tour okay so this is our bedroom as you walk through the door first things first we have a laundry basket and this is probably one of the nicest laundry baskets i think i've ever seen it's just got a couple of bits on the top at the moment spare battery for this camera and then my phone but yeah this laundry basket just goes perfectly with everything else we've had this since we were in our last flat as well it's from dunnell mill it is absolutely perfect it's got like a little lid it's very very sturdy and we are big fans of that i think i'm gonna walk you around from the door so yeah that's the back of our door it does need to have a little paint but yeah we keep our dressing gowns on the back of this door and mine is from um soho house and josh's is very similar except it doesn't have a hood and his is from marks and spencers and then behind the door this kind of sits like that and then right behind it we have our ikea hermes unit which has been with us for a very long time i think 
nearly three years and it's just absolutely perfect still doing really well holds up really nicely despite the amount of clothes i've shoved in it i keep two of my bigger bags hanging here and then my smaller ones are on the coat hooks downstairs but yeah on the top things are very kind of minimal and pared back. I was originally considering putting a mirror here, but I don't want to be able to see myself when I first wake up in the morning, so I've kind of left that. Josh was saying we should maybe put a clock on it, but if that ticks, that's gonna bug me so much, so um, I think we're leaving that idea for a little bit. Here I just have um, a picture frame. I'm kind of trying to find the right little one for the bedroom, um, so I've just moved one in for my office. So now this one's by Lauren Taylor. She has a lovely little Instagram and she does lots of like watercolory style prints. She's amazing. So yeah, I got that from her. And then there's a little photo of me and some friends down here, little Polaroid photo. Then we've got a notebook and then a couple of magazines. I've got Porter, which is basically the only magazine I really read. And then Serial as well, which is an amazing magazine. It's got lots of like travel. Like the photography in it is just stunning. I find it really, really inspiring. Yeah, I really enjoy having a flick through this. And I find it just gives me ideas sometimes when I'm feeling a bit like, Ugh. And then I've got a little notebook. This is from Katie Hounsling. I don't know if that's right. Those are from Ray-Ban, they're lovely. I'm not sure that they do that colour anymore because I was on the Ray-Ban website the other day. They do a similar but it's darker. And then to the side I have a body cream from Jo Malone. It's Blackberry and Bay, which is one of their best scents in my opinion. And then this is by Elizabeth and James. It's their new amethyst scent. I've just lost the lid. It smells really lovely. <laughs> and then I've got this little tray from Oliver Bonus and it's just covered in little bits of jewellery, so much stuff, hairbands, hair clips, stuff like that. So that is it for that side. And then over this side, it's a lot more simple. We've got a candle from Home Sense, and then these coasters are also from Home Sense. And then I have Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg, Almost Adulting by Arden Rose, Ice Cream for Breakfast by Laura Jane Williams. This book is amazing, everyone needs to read it. And then Wild Like Me by Louise. The only one that I've finished so far is Ice Cream for Breakfast, um, but I've got a lot of other books downstairs that I'm also reading at the moment. So these ones are kind of like my to read pile apart from Ice Cream for Breakfast. And then on top, I have this little plant and I cannot remember where I got this plant from. But I love it. I think I got it from somewhere in Brighton. There's a lot of like florists and really cool plant shops in Brighton. So um, if you're ever in the area and you're looking for some cool plants, come on down because there are so many shops that do amazing ones. And this one, I absolutely love. Actually, I think it might've been from Guns Florist. I think there's a vlog where I bought it. And then I have this in this little planter pot thing from Feather and Marble, which is a really lovely homeware site just for like cute really unique little pieces um i think they are so amazing so i'll link their website in the info box below yeah that is the top of our chests of drawers i need to have a massive sort out of these because they are crazy like in here that's that's a mess this is our like kind of cosmetic drawer. These two drawers are just an absolute mess, so I can't wait for my autumn like clear out so that I can um, sort those out. This bag, in case anyone's wondering, is from Balenciaga, and this one is from Aspinall. That is the chest of drawers, and then over here we have my favorite little corner. Look at it. This is probably one of my favorite parts of our house now, and it was kind of put together very last minute. I knew I wanted something like this here, like a chair or an ottoman or something like that. And then when I was working with HomeSense, I came across this chair, picked it up, and it is absolutely perfect. So just as an overview, the print is from Decenio. Um, I've actually just ordered a few more prints from them as well. I'm so excited for them to arrive because I have done like upstairs, but I need to do downstairs. This plant is a mother-in-law's tongue. It may have been from home base, I want to say. I do kind of feel like I bought this at the same time I bought this. And then the planter is from home base as well. Loads of people ask me to link it. I don't buy anything online for, from home base. I just went into store. You just have to check your local store because finding them online I think is basically impossible. And then this rug as well is from HomeSense and it's just perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I really wanted another little like faux furry rug in here and yeah, it's, it's absolutely perfect. It fits really nicely in this little area. Yeah, that's this nook and then across this wall we have a wall of shutters. It's amazing. It is just so beautiful. I come in here and I look at the shutters and it's just it takes my breath away a little bit. Just think shutters add a really nice texture 
as well and it just adds a little bit of something extra to the room and then over here I have a mirror which is actually from a little like glass window and mirrors shop in Brighton it's um, near where we used to live kind of like Preston Park area so if you're in Brighton and you're looking for somewhere it's kind of like around that area and yeah they have different rotations of mirrors in there all the time and I found this one and I just thought it was beautiful and it costs I think a hundred and 60 pounds. It's one of those things I think I will keep for a very very long time. It's proper like full length like you can see how big it is compared to me. <laughs> like hey it's way taller than I am. And it's got this beautiful like it's kind of like a shabby chic vibe detailing and yeah I just I just love it. It's even got like the details on the bottom. That's this mirror and then down here I have Zoella like make giant makeup bag thing and it just houses all of my like makeup and hair products and stuff like that and I just try and keep it shoved to the side because otherwise this can totally take over as you guys have probably seen in other vlogs so I've just been like shoving it all in there recently and then this is the first of our bedside tables so as you can tell this is Josh's bedside table and they're like a deep green marble and these are proper like proper marble. This whole thing is so heavy to lift. Um, I'm glad I'm quite strong because otherwise I don't know how I would have got these up the stairs. But yeah, they're amazing. I think they're around £170 from Swoon Editions and they are just stunning. I've also got a gold and white marble topped one that is coming for, I think, the living room as well. So um, yeah, I'm a fan. And I think it was really nice to get these colours because although the white would have gone perfectly in this room, I think the green adds a little bit more of a an slightly androgynous touch to the room. It's a little bit more interesting. It goes with a lot of like the greenery in the room. And it's just also a little bit different from the traditional white marble as well. Then we have our bed. This is from made.com. It's a whole bed, it's not just, I get asked all the time, people are like, is it just the headboard or is it just like a full bed? It is a full bed and they also come with like storage underneath as well. We were on a bit more of a budget so we just went for the bed without the storage underneath but I would have loved to have gone for a bed that had like the drawers underneath. So the bed is from made.com, it's in the tulip colour so it's like a slightly pinky, nudie brown colour. I think it's gorgeous. And then our bedding is from Marks and Spencers. It's like the Dobby print. I got um, one of these as a housewarming gift and then ended up, ended up buying two so we have the same set or we can have the same set in the second bedroom as well. And then the pillows are from... so the actual pillows are from Next. Um, the reason they always look a bit odd, so like Josh's always looks different, is because we do ha both have different types of pillows. So I have like a synthetic feathery type one here and then the underneath one is like completely just super squishy. It's like a, I think it's like a temperature regulating one from um, Next or something like that. I'll link which pillows we have down below in case anyone's interested. I highly recommend mine though, whichever one it is, I'll find out because it's, it's just, uh, my sleep has been so much improved the past couple of weeks since I bought it. And then the cushions are from HomeSense, West Elm and then Urban Outfitters. And I think this type of cushion, like these styles, go really well with like the earthy vibe I was going for. They're very tasseled. I don't know what the word is to describe this kind of like, you know the cushions that have all the fringing and then like the tasseling on them. I don't know what name you give it, but if anyone knows, I would love to know. But yeah, I think they work really nicely with the vibe of the room. Um, one side note is these are our spare cushion covers. We normally have like a pink or this kind of dotty print. So this is a bit of a clash and it's bugging me so badly. But um, if you wanna see what it normally looks like, then it's on my home Instagram. But yeah, I will link these as well because I get questions on these all the time in the info box, um, but they're from next. It's a like sheet and then pillowcase set. Then we have my bedside table, which mine you can see a little bit better because I don't have as much stuff on mine as Josh's. But yeah, this little lamp is like a concrete base with a giant like bulb on the top and it's from Heels. And then my coasters, again, are from HomeSense. This glass is from Next. I've got a Nooks Revdemiel lip balm, which I always put on before bed. And for some reason I have change. I didn't know what to do with it, so I've just left it there. And yeah, you can kind of see the pattern of the top of the marble a bit better. It is so beautiful. I'm so happy with it. Then down here, I have a little basket, which um, quite often I pop my cables in here. So I will just like hide them all in there. And as you can see, I'm hiding a lot of clothing in there right now. It's basically a basket for all of my crap to go in to try and keep the place tidy. Although let's be real and not ignore the fact that I've definitely put a huge pile of clothing just out in the hallway 
to hide because I didn't know what to do with it and I wanted to film this video so just keeping it real my bedroom is not always this tidy there's normally a pile of clothes like right here but anyway that is my little basket it's actually from a store in Brighton called the Tidy Street store and I don't know where else you can get them if I'm honest um I'll try and do some research but I'm sure like Etsy or there's a brand called Grey and Wood. I think they probably have something, but it would be a lot more expensive. Then we have the wardrobes, and I'm gonna take a big step back to show you, because we've got a lot of wardrobe. So this is our wardrobe. It actually looks so small when I look at it through the viewfinder, because to me, they're huge. But yeah, these are our wardrobes, and this side is Josh's side. And then I have these three. I also have another one of this in my office as well. But yeah, this is what it's currently looking like. It is a little bit messy and I cannot wait to redo this. I'm gonna completely reshuffle everything now that we're coming into autumn because I've got to make space for lots of coats and things like that. This is a complete shambles at the moment, like all of my stuff from my recent haul, which you will have seen on Thursday. If you haven't, I'll link it below. All of that stuff is basically here. And I've had to like take my hangers out of my office and just throw them all in here. Yeah, so things are looking a little bit out of control at the moment. And then Josh's wardrobe. I shut the door. This is our bedroom. And back again for you. It's so hard to show everything in one shot. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what everything looks like. I'm sorry if I've made anyone feel seasick doing this because I've definitely made myself feel seasick. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my room tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you do have any questions, then let me know in the comments and I'll basically just do a little Q&A in the comments with you. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up because it lets me know that you liked it and it also means that other people will see this video. So it really helps me out. If you would like to subscribe, that would mean everything to me. The button is down below. There's also a notification bell thing if you want to get alerts twice a week for my new videos. And finally, if there is any more home content that you would like to see, I know I've got all the room tours on my list, but if there's anything else that you would like to see, then please do let me know and I will have a go at filming that for you. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you're all having the best day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.